Hi, it's Evan from WCCF Tech, and we're covering some exciting news about Intel's Raptor Lake CPUs. Intel is rumored to launch its next generation Sapphire Rapids X, HEDT, and Raptor Lake mainstream desktop CPU platforms in quarter three of 2022. The latest information on Intel's next gen HEDT and mainstream CPU families come from Momomo underscore US. The leaker has tweeted out a picture of a fish representing the Fishhawk Falls HEDT and Dinosaur representing the Raptor Lake mainstream CPU platform, and both are mentioned as quarter three. This means that Intel's next desktop upgrade is expected within 10 to 12 months of their Alder Lake lineup. But moving to the main story, Intel's Sapphire Rapids HEDT lineup is said to launch on the W790 platform. There was a recent driver listing of the X699 chipset, but that seems to be a placeholder as the leaker claims it is fake. The W790 chipset makes it seem like the Sapphire Rapids HEDT CPU family will be aimed at the prosumer market, similar to AMD's Threadripper Pro positioning. The important thing is that the lineup is expected to make a debut in quarter three of 2022, the same time as Intel's 13th generation Raptor Lake CPUs. Intel's Xeon-based Sapphire Rapids SP chips are expected to feature up to 56 cores and LGA 4677 socket compatibility. The Sapphire Rapids workstation with the W and the HEDT X chips might get a different socket and also a reduced number of cores unless Intel wants to plug in the same socket and model range for its HEDT slash workstation platform. It definitely seems like Intel will go the latter route since they've been beaten up pretty badly in the HEDT and workstation segment by AMD's Threadripper for several years now. We can expect new technologies such as a 10 nanometer enhanced superfin architecture for the Sapphire Rapid CPUs, 64 PCIe 5.0 lane support, 8 channel DDR5 memory, and many new enhancements aimed at prosumer and enthusiast grade markets. Other details include a larger L2 cache, which can be branded as Intel's own game cache for core CPUs, and clock speeds will feature a boost clock bump of 200 MHz, so we can expect up to 5.5 GHz boost clocks, considering Alder Lake S desktop CPUs will top out at 5.3 GHz. The Intel Raptor Lake S chips will also support faster DDR5 memory speeds of up to 5,600 megabits per second, along with retaining support for DDR4 memory support as the report suggests. It looks like there will be three main dies, which will be configured into three separate models. Starting with the top large die consisting of 8 Cove and 16 Atom cores, a mid die with 8 Cove and 8 Atom cores, and lastly a smaller die which will feature just 6 Cove cores with no Atom cores. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.